Hello everyone, Tales to all rubbish and out here. It's been some time, but you know what? I'm going to do something a little different here. And that is called Let's Do Some Bios on their BIOS. And I'm gonna do this in parts because this guy right here has basically done a heck of a lot more than you could perhaps put a game in and such, but oh good grief, you won't believe. Now then, I'm going to first attack his love interest. His love interest is so very bad. I mean, he mistreats others. He will, he mistreats females a lot. I mean, he got into a relationship with a, a lot of people, with a lot of girls, even from multiverses that he has been in, especially one with with Amy Rose, he has been in a relationship, I think, with Sally, too. He's even Rouge the Bat right here has been flirting with him a bit. I mean, there, there's just so much that this guy right here, well, this hedgehog, is so very hype. It's, I mean, there are people who like him. I, I understand that. He's a bad character. He's so good grief. Is all this his love interest is not as good as you think until he has dated Auntie Sally, well, Alicia, and then due to mistreating her a bunch and such, they she broke up with him and then she dated like the Auntie Rabbit, um, that one girl who's Auntie Bonnie. And then she broke up with him after she's been into a relationship with Penelope, a uh, Paletos, this girl right here, from whoever. And it's so much. I, it, it's just a lot of information that this guy has been dealing with. I mean. <sighs> but, anyways, another thing is. This guy has dated girls from multiverses, and that means from how many multiverses there are out there, there is so many that you cannot believe. So, in other words, his he has dated he has dated Amy, broke up with her as when he was blue, and that made Amy's hopes go hopes go down the drain. And that's a fact. And, well, even though I'm not the Sony Amy type person, but... Even I think that's sad. But this guy has done so much more in relationships than he will ever get into. I wonder what he's carrying anymore, and that can nearly kill. So there's a health lesson for you. That's very unhealthy. And yet his more each time that he got into a relationship was either more than dramatic or it just it's just uh just too much. You won't believe and that, I know that wasn't scourge because some people uh -huh. But anyway, this guy has done so much history. He has had so much in the past, even I would have to think that he has done too much. He has so many female companions, and then broke up after so many domestic violence, or I don't know what he's been doing in those multiverses. Who knows what he's been doing in those multiverses. Who knows if he has done anything with a girl, or with any of them at all. This guy is literally like... I mean, he is the opposite of Sonic, I'll give him that much, but Scourge is a bad boy. I mean, he did go he did go to prison in the comments and such, but seriously, this guy right here. I don't know what he has been doing with all those girls, and I perhaps don't want to know, so, and it... Not even, I'm sorry, not even fanfiction can fix this. But 
That almost sounds like a Fiona to me. If that when Fiona's in jail, we all don't know what she's been doing in jail. Ugh, this is just such pathetic. I cannot really think straight. I guess I'm putting him in the closet. Seven minutes of heaven with a different girl. Ugh. But anyway, if you are somebody like this guy who's been into so many relationships and could be carrying something that could be deadly because who knows in the Archie comics and it explains a lot though he wanted to become the most powerful being in all the multiverse but it seems like there are some that he cannot best out but that bio comes later, so I'm tacking his love. So this is his love interest. Until he, until he met Fiona, he acted so very different between him and Fiona. It's not even funny. I mean, all the aunties were basically evil anyway. But for something like that, that's a very big game changer for him for a relationship. That uh, he could be carrying something deadly. Uh, there, there's a health lesson for you. Even though I didn't want to give that out. But there, there's something for you guys. So this is part one is love and trust. And it's so very bad until he met Fiona. I'm sorry. But not even fan fiction can fix this whatsoever. Because this is basically how they get thrown it out to be. Because it, it just makes sense. And that's how it's always going to make sense. So, yeah, I'm done with this one until I come. I'll be doing other love bios as well. But for him, it pretty much explains that he's had a lot of. He has done a lot of bad things to other girls. I'm not. I, I can't really think. So, I'll do another one. So, yeah. It, this is as much as I can say.